To be a surfer shaper was the most important thing in my life because in my day, you had to be a very good surfer to be a shaper. Tony Dempsey, uh, I've been shaping here on the Gold Coast for 50 years. I shape under BSC, which is Burley Shaping Company. I've had that for quite a few years. Um, started off with Honesty in the early 60s. In our day, we designed this basic thing as a lifestyle, not as a business. Even your parents were going, what do you want to be a surfy for? You know, like two bob idiots and all this sort of stuff. But we stuck in it and created one of the greatest sports in the world. One of the first major contests I went in was the 1966 Australian title with Nat and Druin and Midget and shit, mate, that was insane. But in the meantime, you're looking at all the other shapers who were surfing them and their boards and you're going, oh, that might go well at Burley, but I'll tweak this and tweak that. I got into surfboard shaping trying to do the next thing. I've always been a creative person. I've always painted and I've always drawn characters, you know. But when you saw these things that were producing so much fun in the, in, in the waves, you wanted to be a part of it. And to be a part of it, you had to be a shaper. I made my first surfboard in 1963 and my mum's flat underneath. Oh yeah, I got killed for it. Shaped the surfboard in, in a flat underneath our joint. Yeah, got destroyed by my mum and dad. What the hell are you doing, you know? But that was the first board. I got a class by Al Curtin over in Southport. That's where it all started. In 1967, I, I was surfing uh, Noosa on an eight foot surfboard. I knocked the fin out, took it down to Hayden's to get repaired. I'm sitting at Noosa. But a mate of mine arrived from Sydney. He was an e-board rider and he's gone, What's the matter with you? I said, oh, just ripped the fin out of me board, mate. And I'm sitting there like a stale bottle, you know? And he said, what we can do, take me new board out and have a surf, mate. I've, I've gone out and I've gone, bullshit, I reckon I can stand on this thing. So I stood up on it, started surfing, and I've gone, far out, this is incredible. I come back to Hono's and I've gone, I want to make a small board. He's gone, yeah, well, see that <laughs> mal over there, that twin string of mal, it was an old ale. You can make it out of that. I had to make it out of a cut down because blanks were so hard to get in those days. So I went around, ground all the stuff, ripped all the glass off and shaped myself a little 6'2". And that's where the controversy is. Who did the first short board? I, I have got a lot of people who have gone, oh, you know, Woodsy did it, but they were for kids. I made a first short board to actually ride Kira and Burley and all this sort of stuff on it. Like even till today, all my boards are handcrafted, they're not computer shaped, nothing. Because I'm from the old school where you, you, every board that you make, you put a bit of yourself in it. When you're paddling around out there and somebody's surfing one of your boards, you paddle up and go, how's your board going, mate? Oh, you know. And it gives you the biggest buzz. The wealth I've got out of surfing, you can't measure.